Hi everyone. At first I would like to thank the virtual dreaming team that they accept my talk and today I would like to tell you about how to level up your ice analytics visualizations with custom maps. Let me introduce myself. My name is Christos Papadopoulos. I'm based in Cyprus and I'm a senior consultant for the Gold Partners Network Consultants. I'm eight times certified and I love working with ice analytics. So let's go on with our real things. Uh, let's start with the basic terminology of what is Einstein analytics for those who don't know and what we'll show you later on. Einstein analytics is, is a tool that you can visually visualize your charts, all right, your data. And the idea here is that you have data from outside of Salesforce. Maybe you can connect to your ERP or any system you want. You can have data from your Salesforce. For example, you can get data from leads, accounts, opportunities, or anything you want. Or you can upload a CSV file into your data. And then you create a data set. There is a tool over there that is creating data flows and prepare your data. And after you create your data set, what you will need to do is to create the charts. We call them lens or visuals, let's say, all right? Uh, after your lens says, what you need to do is to move them into dashboard, all right? The dashboard is consists of various lenses, la various reports, let's say, all right? Then after you complete all that, you can put it all together in an app and you can share it with your users. Now, let's talk about maps. Analytics has built-in maps charts in various geographical areas. For example, you have the United States or you can have other Europe, for example. You have the, that uh, map already in the system. But what if you want to use a specific country's map or even a city? You have to create it. So that's why where custom maps take place. In order to use them, you will need a JSON file that contain metadata and coordinates and then later on, we have to use that JSON file to upload to the system and we can use it into a map chart. Here, for example, you can see an already made map that come out of the system, which is the map of the world countries. And if you want to add a custom map, you have to click to the plus sign over here and then upload your JSON file. We're using JSON files because it's a, form, a standard format for parsing polygon shapes in JSON. Uh, try to limit your max size of a JSON file less than 10 megabytes. Uh, so you, you, the map will load faster. And there must be a name or right, ID parameter in the property section. Uh, what we're using here in the analytics, we have to flatten our data in order to parse the values and I will show you later how we can do that. And the value of the name should match the value of the group column in your data set. Something important before you upload your JSON file to your ICE analytics, make sure you change the ID, for example here, property, uh, into a proper level so it, the ICE analytics can read it. Otherwise, if you're trying to upload a JSON file without that change, it will not be able to read your data. Now, time for our demo. Uh, I will show you how to get a data set, upload a JSON file into MapShaper and to edit it, change the value for the ID so they can work with ICE Analytics, create a new custom map, and then we can add that chart into our dashboard. Let's go for the demo. For our live demo, I will take the custom map of Greece. Somebody create a GeoJSON file. You can find different GeoJSON files over the internet. So I have some links later on, so you can look at them and download them. So for this file, I will need the raw file here. You can see the raw file. I can download it and I can save it. Store it here. We don't need a TXT file. We need a JSON file, a GeoJSON file. So let's put a number save all right so let's see what we have downloaded now that's our file and what we need now is to move it one level 
on top. So a friend of mine from my work, what I told him is that it would be great if we can have a tool that it can automatically take your a uh, JSON file and convert it so it can work for your uh, Einstein analytics. So my friend Haytham did that for me. So I will just name that is the ID that I will give and the of output file I will need it new jail JSON file for Chris. I will reformat, I will need to choose our format here. This is what we have downloaded. And that's it. Now I have my file here. Let me change that. Dot jail json and here a new form structure so what's next we have convert our geojson file into the correct format that einstein analytics wants it now it's time to use the map shaper to edit that file and why we need that imagine sometimes you have a huge file like let's say it is more than 10 megabytes and you you will not be able to import that. It was one time that I wanted to import the city name map of the, of the city and be, due to the lines, uh, I wasn't able to use that. So I needed to drop some information from my GeoJSON file. So one, that's what it's doing. You can view over here some attributes, some data, some about your map. You can simplify it, all right? Let's simplify it. We, maybe we don't need it to be like that. Nobody wants a map like that. But I think is we, if we simplify a little bit like that, nobody will notice anything. That's okay. Maybe, all right, let's put it over here. Another thing we can use, you can even use the console of, of that map. There's various uh, commands that you can use. You can drop elements. You can clone them if you want. But I don't want to spend more time on that. Let's export our file and then let's import it into our Salesforce Analytics. So I have logged into our Salesforce Analytics Studio and here is the interface of your analytics uh, dashboard, let's say when you first logged in for the ones that you never saw it. So over here, uh, you remember what we said before is that you have all your items, you have apps, you have dashboards, within the dashboards you have lenses, which are our charts and we have data sets. We have done, I upload a data set of data and we can explore that now and uh, we can view it, all right? And what we can do here is that we can play with data. But I'm sure some others, they will tell you how you can do that. But in case if you want how that is working, uh, let's assume we want an amount of bookings and this was gonna work and we need to buy country, all right? So we can see bookings by country and this is how we can use it in our system, all right? Now, in order to save time, what I have done for you is I already created a dashboard of what we want and what we like to do is to add the custom map. As you can see here, I added another custom map already, but the difference between the custom map that I have created before is that that one is more like a whole regions and the other one is like a destinations of specific cities. And here you can see the custom, the standard map that Salesforce provides us. You can see here, I'm from Cyprus and that's my country. Now, let's edit our map. So I'm at the dashboard editor now and what you can see here, you can see different uh, lenses over there into our dashboard. You can move them around if you want. You can drag and drop them. You can add more, uh, more charts if you want, or you can add filters. It's up to you what you would like to do here. Now, let's talk first about the standard maps. What you can do here is that here is the standard map that we have on Salesforce. You can see it over there, it's a standard map. If you click edit and you can see it's from the maps. I click formatting and I can choose the world countries. 
Now, in case if you want to use custom maps, you will need to have that sign, the plus sign. If you don't have it, uh, there is a permission to allow you to upload a GeoJSON files. What I did here in order to make it more easy, uh, I click auto zoom because we don't need it uh, zoom out for the everyone. That's why I choose auto zoom so we can be more focused here. Another thing is that you can play with maps in general is that you can apply format it if you want. If you know if you don't want any format, you can have the standard one, or you can have the by country, or by sum of booking, for example here. So let's go to the other things you can do. You can edit charts. For example, here I choose, here's my country, and I can edit that if I want. Alright, let's leave it there. And let's go to our other map. Okay, leave, let's leave it the way it is. Now, okay, let's create now our two custom maps that we have of Greece. So let's delete that so we can recreate it again. And okay, delete it. Now let's clone that map. Let's put it up there. Okay, great. Let's open it. And what I'll do here, as you can see, is that you can start using the standard maps over there because those are the pre the maps that Einstein Analytics come, comes with, all right? Uh, what we like to do here is I would like to change the map and before before I upload already a map with regions, you can use that one. Okay, we don't have anything, but if I choose and change here to regions, regions, all right, I will be able to see my regions here on the map. So also I can do either different formatted by regions if I want, or it's too colorful, we don't need to do that. Let's remove it, known. I like the way it is, simple. The more dark is mean that we have more profit, for example, here. Let's update. Here's our map. What's the difference here? Let's see. Is that if I click to that, it will auto zoom here into Greece, for example. All right. Let's go back to, let's create the other map now. And I will show you how you can upload it. You can even start from here. Maybe we can clone that and we can show you. I can show you how you can go from a bar chart into a map. So here we have we have some of our mount and we have final destinations. If I want to use a map, yeah, maybe it will suggest me to use a map here, but I would like to use a custom map. So let's go back, let's go to formatting, and then what I would like to do is Oh, sorry. First, I need to choose a map, which is, it is important. So, we choose a map. We don't care about what map it is now. We have to go to formatting. And now I will upload the map. Here's how you upload the map. Okay, let's upload the our file now. New jail JSON file of Greece. And now we need, let's call it destinations destinations of Greece so we have Greece as a country regions and then destinations so we can have even more accurate data and here in our examples I have to either Kiklades or Dodeganisa as destinations I click update we don't need the dark thing now let's remove that the default and let's let's change the background all right let's save it let's go on to a preview mode and you can see here if I click the the Ganisa for example or Kiklades 
everything on my map will change. It will focus here, for example, this is a region of South Aegean, all right? Here's my Greece, and here's this uh, Kiklades. If I click to Dodecanisa, I will have data about my Dodecanisa and about general in the other areas I want. So that's how you can use your analytics and your custom maps. Let's go back to our initial scenario. So that's a good way. I have some other examples if I want to show you how you can use analytics and custom maps. Let's go over there. Another good example of how you can use custom maps is to upload a data set of a city. For example, here I have Sydney city map and you can see different data about the city. For example, cases per month or cases per location. So if I click to a location, I can see that my lenses over there change. And if I click another location, you can see over there, they will be changing according to that location. And I can go back. So it's another good way how you can use the locations of cities and you can click on, uh, you can click on them and you can update your dashboard. So after we saw some interesting maps, custom maps and how we can use them, you can find different data sets of maps, right? Your GeoJSON files over the internet, here are some links. Now, if you want to edit your map, you can go to MapShipper, it's an easy tool. There are some others over the in the internet. And if you want to create out of an image or from a CV, SVG file, a, a map, you can go to Inkscape and download that program and you can create your custom uh, map and then use Map Shaper to change it and then you can upload it into Ice Analytics. Thank you for listening to me and I really appreciate it and I hope you learned something today. See you, Trailblazers. Blazers.